Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's session, we are going to see the second part of measures of dispersion that is standard deviation and coefficient of variation. Already in my last lecture, I have explained you what is measures of dispersion, the definition of dispersion and uh, the measures like range and coefficient of range. Okay, you will find the link in the description box. So let's start the lecture. So in today's lecture, we are going to see standard deviation and coefficient of variation, the formula and the uh, and one example. Okay. So now what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is a measure of dispersion. So how uh, so the standard deviation is what the positive square root. Okay. Standard deviation SD standard deviation in short. Uh, you can say it as SD, S means standard and D means deviation. So, SD is the positive square root, okay, positive square root, this is, this sign is called as square root of mean, okay, mean is what, arithmetic mean, the average of square, okay, the positive square root of mean of squares, okay, of deviation, taken from arithmetic mean is called as standard deviation. Now standard deviation is denoted by this sign. Okay. This sign is called as sigma. Okay. Now this sign is also called as sigma. In standard deviation, sigma means this sign. Okay. It is denoted as SD. Okay. In short, if you write, okay, stand SD is equals to and so on. So this is so it is denoted by SD. Okay, Symbol, uh, sim, uh, symbolically uh, it is uh, it represents sigma. So now to find standard deviation, the formula is SD. Okay, this is the sign of standard deviation is equals to. Okay, so SD is what positive square root. So this is what positive square root. This is positive square root of mean of square okay mean is this okay now x bar is what arithmetic mean okay so is equals to deviation taken from arithmetic means is it uh, sigma okay summation x square divided by n n means number of observation and x is observation and observation square minus x bar square okay so minus x bar square means the arithmetic means square. So in the formula x bar is with the square. Okay. So this is the formula to find standard deviation. I will repeat again. Sigma is equals to summation of x square divided by n minus x bar square and whole under the square root. So this formula is whole under the square root. So this is the formula to find standard deviation. Now next we are will move to coefficient of variation. So in short coefficient of variation is what CV. Okay. So uh, in range the relative measure of range is what coefficient of range. So in standard deviation the relative measure of standard deviation is coefficient of variation. So we can call coefficient of variation in short CV. So CV is equals to SD is what sigma, uh, SD is what standard deviation divided by X uh, arithmetic mean. Now this two signs, okay, this two sign represents modulus uh, positive, okay, modulus positive, okay, this is the uh, term which is used in statistic. So just remember that this arithmetic mean is in between two line multiply by 100. So if you put this formula in symbols, so CV is coefficient of variation is equals to SD. This sign I am using it sigma represents this uh, standard deviation represents as sigma uh, divided by to, uh, two lines this is called as model is positive and x bar x bar means what arithmetic mean multiply by 100 now this is very important cv is always represented okay or 
CV is always expressed in percentage. Okay, so when you find if uh, the example is there and when you want to find uh, CV of particular observation, so whatever answer you get, you are going to put percentage sign after that answer. Okay, so now uh, uh, if in exam, okay, or in any example, if they ask you to find standard deviation, so use this formula to find the standard deviation for individual observation and along with if uh, in the exam uh, or in any example they say to find the standard deviation and find CV. So you are going to find first standard deviation and then you find uh, coefficient of variation. Okay. So now uh, or in any other example if they say just find uh, coefficient of variation. Now remember one thing to find coefficient of variation you require standard deviation. Okay. You require standard deviation. So to require uh, to find as per the formula you require standard deviation. So the step will be first find standard deviation by using this formula and whatever answer you get of standard deviation uh, put the value and find uh, x bar uh, then as per the formula so simplify the sum or uh, solve the sum and you will get the CV. So now we will see one example to make this uh, formula uh, to make you understand. So by the time copy down this formula if you have any doubt regarding this formula please mention in the live chat box. So copy down this example and then we will see one example. Okay, so now we will see the example of standard deviation and coefficient of variation. So this is the example. In this example, they have said us to compute SD. SD is what? Standard deviation and standard deviation is also denoted as sigma, okay, by this sign. And CV is what? Coefficient of variation for the following data. Now this is the data. Okay, this data is individual observation. So whenever the individual observation is there, we are going to use this formula. So the data is 36, 15, 25, 100, uh, sorry, 10, 14. Okay, so this is the data and we have to compute standard deviation and plus CV. Now first to find CV also, the CV formula is what? Sigma x bar into 100 okay is equals to cv is equals to sigma uh, cv is equals to standard deviation x modulus x bar into 100 okay so now to uh, to find cv we require standard deviation okay so first we have to find standard deviation and then we will find cv okay now as per the formula of standard deviation go step by step Okay, now uh, formula of standard deviation is what standard deviation is equals to su sum uh, summation of x square divided by n minus x bar square. x bar square is what x bar means what arithmetic mean and whole under the square root. Okay, now in the formula it is clearly mentioned x. Okay, so now what you are going to consider x as you are, you are going to consider this observation as x okay so x so x will be what all this individual observation so write down 36 15 25 10 14 okay so so you can write this numbers in a table form okay whichever is suitable for you next now x is clear now summation of x square. Now x square is there. So now this will be, this is our x. So obviously this observation will be our x square. So now find the square of this each individual. Like 36 square, 15 square, 25 square, 10 square and 14 square. Okay. Now square means what? 36 into 36. Whatever is the answer you are going to write here. Now next, next is, next observation is what? 50, 15 into 50, okay? 25 into 25, whatever is the answer you are going to write. 10 into 10, 14 into 14. So in this way, you are going to find the square, okay? Square is what? X square. So now next, X, first X is what? 36. So 36 
square okay so use the calculator to find the uh, all the values like square so 36 into 36 so 1 to 96 next is 15 into 15 double to 5 25 square 6 to 5 10 square 100 14 square 1 9 6 okay so now we have got x square now all the values of x square we got now in front of x square which sign is there this sign this means what summation okay this sign means summation summation means what total of all x square okay so total of x square so total of x square will be what summation of x square so you are going to add all these numbers okay 1 2 9 6 plus double 2 5 plus uh, 6 uh, 6 25 plus 100 plus 196 so find the total plus 100 plus 196 so you get 2442 okay 2442 this this column total you have got x summation of x square total is what 2442 so now this value we have got okay now as per the formula we have got summation uh, sigma summation x square okay Some, uh, summation x square we have got 2 double 4 2 divided by n n is what n means number of observations so how many is the uh, how much is the observation 1 2 3 4 5 5 is the observation next what we have to find x bar now what is x bar x bar means arithmetic mean now to find arithmetic means means to find x bar okay x bar means some uh, some uh, summation of observation divided by number of observation so to find x bar we are going to use this formula summation of x divided by n so summation of x means what this was x square okay this was x square so now we have to find x total of x value total of x value means 36 plus 15 plus 25 plus 10 plus 14 so we get 100 okay summation of x square is what 100 so 100 divided by 5 okay so 5 ones are 5 twos are 10 0 as it is so x bar is what 20 okay now we have got x bar as 20 clear now as per the formula we have got all the values so summation of x square is 2 double 4 2 n is 5 x bar x bar is what 20 so now put the values as per the formula standard deviation is equals to 2 4 4 2 divided by 5 minus x bar is what 20 now along with 20 square is there that means we have to find the square of 20 that means 20 into 20 we get 400 so and put everything under the square root square root is there sigma uh, is equals to uh, sorry standard deviation uh, standard deviation is equals to square root now divide this 2 double 4 2 divided by 5 answer you get 488.4 minus 4 oh sorry 488.4 minus uh, 20 square is what 20 uh, 20 multiplied by 20 400 okay 400 we have got now how i have got 400 square of 20 next standard deviation is equals to square root 
Now, 488.4 minus 400, the answer you get. eighty eight point four okay eighty eight point four now standard deviation now eighty eight point four is under the square root okay so now if you are using scientific calci you can see the sign of square root just click on square root and put the number okay this number eighty eight point four and press is equals to you get the answer 9.4021 okay 9.4021 okay so now standard deviation we have got 9.4021 okay so i hope you have understood this much now we have got standard deviation one part is over next we have to find cv okay so this step is important first what you do uh, I will repeat this uh, uh, steps again. As per the formula, find all the values. Okay, find all the values and put the values. Divide this first. Okay, uh, summation of x square divided by n minus x bar square. Find the square of uh, x bar. Then minus put the value. Uh, put the sign of square root. Then uh, put the square root. And a, minus this two digit, these two numbers, whatever answer you get, find the square root of that. So, you will find standard deviation. Okay. Now, next what you have to do, I will show here. Next is CV. You want to find CV. Now, CV formula is what? Standard deviation modulus x bar into 100. Okay. Now, CV is equals to. Sigma, we have got 9.4021 upon x bar. x bar is how much? We have got x bar is 20. So, x bar 20 into 100. Okay. Now, use the calculator. 9.4021 divided by 20. So, you get... 0 0.47 0, 0 0.470105 into 100 so multiply this by 100 you get answer 47.0105 percentage okay so cv you have cv we got 47 Point zero one zero five percentage. Okay, uh, as I uh, explained you the formula that CV is always expressed in percentage. So do not forget to write the sign percentage. Okay, so in this way you have to calculate standard deviation and CV. Okay, that is coefficient of variation. Okay, so now in this question the answer of standard deviation is nine point forty twenty one and CV is 47.0105 percentage okay now uh, in exam if they ask you to find only compute stand uh, cv coefficient of variation the step or the process will be same because cv formula is what cv formula is standard deviation divided by x bar into 100 so you need to find standard deviation first and then find cv okay so, I hope you have understood this example. Thank you very much for attending today's lecture. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification.